forward to this. So you're logged into your favorite Beyond game. Here's your PC. Here's your Beyond key. Here's your IP address. Here's your connection. But you just got yourself banned. As a result, this is you up here. When you're banned from a Beyond game, it hits three things. It's going to take out your IP address. It's going to take out your Beyond key. But it's also going to take out your physical machine. That's because it's able to find your computer ID. The computer ID is here in the DM reference if you'd like to read about it. But in short, this is an identifier for your physical machine. In the past, there was a program called PB Downforce. PB Downforce would mask your physical address and assign you a new spoofed one. This software hasn't been updated in some time and I haven't been able to get it to work, but we do have other methods now to ban Evade and Beyond. Most games nowadays are only going to ban your account and your IP address. But because your physical machine is now banned, if you try to reconnect with a new IP, this is what happens. Now your replacement IP address is banned as well. To remedy this, we use a virtual machine which generates a new computer ID number. You have several options if you're looking to run a free virtual machine, but I use Oracle VM VirtualBox. Setting this up is outside the scope of this video, but what you need to know is that once you set one up, it can be cloned. Running that virtual machine is going to look something like this. Now once you have this up and running, you just need a new Beyond key and a new IP address. Just like with virtual machines, you have a lot of options when it comes to using a VPN. My personal recommendation is Proton VPN. Now inside of this virtual machine, we have a new computer ID and a new IP address. All you need to do is make a Beyond key that isn't banned and log back into the game. Obviously, this approach is not going to allow you to unban your main account. What it will allow you to do is get back into any game as long as you're willing to continue making new Beyond keys. This is also an effective approach when you know you're going to be running scripts in a Beyond game. That way you don't compromise your real machine. As you can see, we've installed several programs here in this virtual machine, including our VPN, Beyond, Brave Browser, and a couple other things. It would be a major nuisance to have to do this every time you make a new virtual machine. For that reason, if your virtual machine's ID ever gets banned, or you just want to make a new one, you can clone it. When you clone it, you want to make sure that you select this option here to generate a new MAC address for all network adapters. As you might guess, this will generate a new virtual machine with all of your programs, scripts, and everything else, but the ID will be different. And that means it's no longer banned. Thank you very much to Nick Yunzaza for suggesting this video idea. As always, if you want to continue to elevate your skills programming in DreamMaker, or you just want help setting up a virtual machine, stop by our Discord community, and we'll see you on the next one.